This is your Headless Professor. Today I'm talking about logic paths, another way to visualize deductive syllogisms with diagrams. I got the idea for this thinking about the Continental Divide. Every drop of rain that falls in the 48 continental U.S. states is going to fall on one side of the Continental Divide or the other. If it falls west of the Continental Divide, it will get into some river going down and eventually ending up in the Pacific Ocean. If it falls on the east side of the Continental Divide, it will go down some river and end up in the Atlantic, maybe perhaps having to pass through the Gulf of Mexico first. Well, this reminded me of Aristotle's law of bivalence. A given predicate is either true for a given subject or it is not true for a given subject. So with this we can take any deductive syllogism and draw these kinds of logic paths. Let's take our familiar all men are mortal major premise. This sets up the following kind of logic path. We have things that are mortal and we have things that are not mortal. And the law of bivalence says you're one or the other. You're either on a pathway to dying someday or you're on a different kind of pathway to immortality. Now let's take a look at a minor premise. Socrates is a man. Okay, we know that all men are mortal, therefore men are on the pathway to mortality. If Socrates is a man, Socrates also is on that pathway and Socrates is mortal. Let's take a look at another minor premise which will yield a valid conclusion. Zeus is not mortal. Okay, Zeus is going to end up over here on this side of the equation. Zeus is not mortal. Therefore, we know he's not on the pathway of men because all men end up being mortal. So happens that Zeus is on this pathway. He's one of the Greek deities. But even if we didn't know that, the fact that we know that he's not mortal means that he's not on the pathway of being a man. Tabby is not a man. I don't know if we can reach a valid conclusion from this one. Well, we know that Tabby is not on this pathway, the man pathway to mortality. But we don't know if Tabby is an idea, a deity, or a cat. If Tabby were a cat, that's another pathway to mortality. If Tabby was on one of these pathways, Tabby would not be mortal. So merely knowing that Tabby is not a man does not tell us whether Tabby is mortal or not mortal. Let's try another minor premise that will not yield a valid conclusion. Rover is mortal. Well, all we know is that Rover is going to end up over here. We don't know if Rover is a dog or a man or a cat or some other mortal creature. These logic paths also work with no statements. No cats have wings is our major premise. Let's see what kind of logic path that would set up. The predicate is having wings. So our law of bivalence divides having wings versus not having wings. If we say no cats have wings, we know that cats are on a path away from having wings. Now let's take a look at a minor premise. Felix is a cat. Okay, once we know that Felix is a cat, we know he's on this pathway and he's going to end up without wings. Therefore, if Felix is a cat, Felix does not have wings. Let's try another minor premise, yielding a valid conclusion. Tweety has wings. Okay, Tweety. We know that Tweety is going to end up over on this side 
of the diagram. Tweety's going to have wings. So what we know for sure is that Tweety's not on the cat path because that leads to not having wings. We don't know for sure that Tweety is a bird, a bat, or an airplane. We just know that Tweety has wings, therefore Tweety is not a cat. Let's look at some minor premises that do not yield valid conclusions. Ariel is not a cat. Well, we know that Ariel is not on this particular pathway, the cat pathway. But we don't know if Ariel is a man or a pig, in which case Ariel would still not have wings, or whether Ariel is a bird, a bat, an angel, an airplane, a butterfly, or something else that does have wings. We simply do not have enough information to classify Ariel. Let's try another minor premise not leading to a valid conclusion. Millhouse is wingless. All we know is that Millhouse winds up over on this side without wings. We don't know if Millhouse is a cat, a man, a pig, or something else without wings. So these are logic paths. If you have any comments about this new technique for using deductive reasoning, contact me, brink at usa.com.